So the Tower of Fantasy Launcher got an update. So let's check it out. Oh, that looks good. All right. So before it was Meryl, now it's Saki. <laughs> that is so cool. Yo, what's up guys? I'm Black Hero and in this video, we're going to be installing Tower of Fantasy on Steam. That's right. Tower of Fantasy is now on Steam. So in order to do that, we're going to have to uninstall Tower of Fantasy first before we install it again. All right. But if you're a new user, then, you know, if you're new to this game and you haven't played Tower of Fantasy yet and you haven't installed it yet, you haven't used the, the old launcher, then... Yeah, skip to this part of the video, all right? Timestamps in the description, uh, they're called chapters. So that way you can just skip to the good part, all right? Um, but for those of you that are existing wanderers, the first thing you want to do is save your screenshots, all right? Because if you have screenshots, and I'm sure most of you do, you want to save that, all right? So to save that is you want to right-click on the launcher icon, go to open file location, all right? So this is, yours should look like this, right? You go back once, all right, or Tower Fantasy. There you go. I mean, if you go all the way back, you see this. All right, you click that. You see screenshots. Click the screenshots button, all right? And then you can see all your screenshots. You want to save that, all right? You you want to save that. Orders, oh, no, okay, cool. All right, so I, I, I put mine into folders. This is my recent one. So, you know, we have Meryl here with a bunch of, um, a bunch of, <laughs> I have like one, two, three, four, farming this mount was fun. Uh, there's like four, four Claire's dreams machines. Anyway, uh, so you want to save that. The best place to save something that you're going to return in the future is in, in the desktop. So we're going to press copy. All right. So go here, copy. All right. You can, you can close that now. And then you just paste it on your desktop. A safest place to paste something. All right. If you want to double check, go to properties. All right. 249 MB. All right. Uh, if you go back here, you go to open file location and then you go to back. You go to screenshots. You right click this. It should be exactly the same. So now that you've saved your screenshots, you can go on to the next step, which is log in to the game. All right. So you can use your email account and password. Um, but, you know, if you were smart, if you have like a thousand IQ, you've bound your account to a Gmail and you can just press this button here and then it will just redirect you to log in to the game, right? Like normal people should. And then you should get this notification, right? Oh, it's Ruby. Okay. Login completed. You may now close this window. All right. So beautiful. Now that login is completed, where is the launcher that is... That is a good looking launcher. All right. So it says current version 2.0.1. That, that's a really good improvement to the launcher though. Ruby. <laughs> ah, wow. All right. So you want to not update the game because you're going to be uninstalling it anyway. So to save on data, right? So you go to game settings, right? Game settings, go to manage and then uninstall. All right. Uninstall it now. Yes. Confirm. All right, so this should initiate the uninstalling feature <laughs> event. It, it's, it's uninstalling now. That's what we want. We want to uninstall the game. We want to make sure that it's a clean install, as, as clean as possible. Um, we're backing up the screenshots because we're not sure if it will, you know, delete your screenshots file and all the screenshots that you have. So it's always just, it's just good. Just good to have your screenshots saved. All right, so it's just saying uninstalling, uninstalling. There, there's nothing else here. While while waiting, you can read what's new. Vera version two point zero first event. Vera is out. Wow. All right. So now it says un download. So I'm assuming <laughs> that the game has been uninstalled. All right, because it says you can't uninstall anymore. Open the installation directory. All right. Oh, screenshots do get it. That's smart. All right, but it's always good to back them up anyway. So still back them up. Launcher is still here. All right. Now, the next thing we want to do is, all right, system, download. All right, scroll down. 
this is their download directory no general run all right we want to do a full clean setup start from scratch and i guess the only way to do that is to also uninstall the launcher so all right from here all right i'm like you can do it from here you go to game settings you go to manage you go to open the installation directory that should open the installation or you can close the launcher now you go to launcher and then you go to where it says uninst uninst here this one run this as admin yeah uninst.xe uninstall this will uninstall the tower fantasy launcher not the game all right is running please close it first so all right retry retry ignore ignore all right so ignoring will just ignore that it's open in the first place okay okay it's gone there you go if you even want a cleaner uninstall um launchers here you can delete this you can delete you can delete everything here you just delete this entire file folder i'm mean, like you already you've already right try again can't can't close this folder and try again Seven file isn't oh is what where is it opening um okay uh screenshots hota binaries <sighs> okay um let's see can i do this all right try again all right so i want to make sure that when you install tower of fantasy and especially if it's going to be in the same location that you'll actually be able to install it cleanly um from scratch because that's always the best way to install I'm like who who knows you might be able to merge it but for this we're gonna have to restart the computer all right so rest i'm like if you're if you're at this point restart your pc um and then we'll see what happens then i'm like we want to delete this all right that's the goal okay all right okay so i just restarted my pc let's see if we can delete this entire folder and yes we can perfect now once that's gone all right once you don't see that anymore all right you go to your recycle bin all right and then you just permanently delete it all right so this is at this point you better have saved your screenshots because if not then they would have definitely be gone for good so all right so if you followed my first thing to do then yeah your screenshots would be saved all right now now that your tower fantasy of game is no longer part of your computer all right don't don't cry we're gonna we're gonna get it back but on steam all right you want to open up steam so go to steam all right if you don't have a steam get one make an account uh, it's not it's not that hard it's like creating any normal account so all right this is your steam library right you get you hit close then you just go to a uh, store right and then here in the top right you search for tower of a fantasy all right it should be there it's a free game all right so this is tower of fantasy um just 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 go here and just play game all right add to library play game press play game all right when you press that it's gonna tell you that uh, oh, you want to create a desktop shortcut? Yes. Then you want to create a start menu shortcut? Sure. And then the most important part is where do you want the game to be installed under? All right. Ideally, you want to put it in your C drive where you're running your NVMe or your SSD, you know, the, the SATA, the, the fast the fast drive. All right. Put it there. All right. By default, it's going to go to program files, 86 Steam. Um, that's fine. By, that's fine by me. All right, you can create a new Steam library on Drive E, but you know this is perfect. All right, because I, I made sure that I had space on my C drive. You want to see? All right, so you see, there's my C drive, sixty four gig. <laughs> Six, I have sixty four gig on my C drive. Wonderful. All right, so estimated download times four minutes forty two seconds. So that should be relatively fast. So we're gonna hit the next. Uh, English. All right, you can choose your language. Uh, I'm gonna choose English because that's one of the many languages i do know uh steam is now downloading you can track the progress of this download in the steam download view 
all right so we just go to manage downloads and then it should be here there we go all right there there she is all right this this you can just press finish all right because now you're watching it here so now we watch Tower of uh, that is a really cool. So we got Ruby here, we got Lin, we got Sparky, we got Sakifua here, we got Nemesis, looking good. So the the the, the total file of this is twenty four point six gig. Uh, it's gonna take five minutes for this to download. Um, you can can you click this? What happens if I click this? Click. All right, so it brings it here. All right, so if you click it, you can also see the progress here. 3.94 gig, 4 gig. We're at 4 gig now. We're going to star this because we're going to add this to, to favorites. Show more details. So, yeah, it, this was released on October 20. Today is October 21 in the Philippines. So, yeah, S manage, add to new collection. You can add to, okay, you can add it to a new collection. All right. Uh, we're gonna add it to, um, g gotcha. I don't know. Gotcha. Co create a collection is a simple way of drag your title. All right, best games ever. All right, there we go. Create collection. I don't know what a dynamic collection. That looks cool though. All right, so even here is just four minutes remaining. Uh, that looks nice. Best games ever. Let's see here at the top too. So you know that it's part of your best. It's like a folder. All right, I guess. I guess you could put it that way. It's best games ever. All right. Uh, what else can you do here? Um, remove from manage. All right. Properties. If you had properties, all right. This is what properties looks like. Local files language. You chose English controller support. Yeah, they have better controller support now. That I have, so I've heard. All right. So we are now at um. 38%. We've already downloaded 9.8. Okay, store page. All right, let's go see what's on the store. So this this is what they're showing here. All right, so this is the Vera trailer. All right, that is really cool. Uh, so yeah, I can't I can't wait to explore Vera. Um this is boss bosses, boss fights, joint operations, party disco. Okay. All right, how about the pictures? All right, can we zoom in? No, we can't. Oh, but if we, oh, there we go. We can. I should have just done that. All right. Um. So the this is character creation. All right. That's Ruby and Sparky. So this is on PC clearly, maybe because of the layout looks like, or not. I don't know. It could be mobile. All right, it does look more compressed. All right. Character creation. This is a boss in Vera. This is ice bot, frost bot. Um, okay, this is Mira City, uh, I believe. That's all the screenshots they posted. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, about this game. So yeah, version two point Vera is now available. New map Vera. New simulacro match Ruby. Ruby is the as of recording. New story Land of Sand. New challenge and level cap. Oh yeah, so you we were level capped at you know for version one. We were hard capped at seventy, so now it's increased to eighty. So that's good. New events and rewards, so we get more nucleus to make them orders. All right, so it says here that you need at least eight gig of RAM. All right, these are the minimum requirements. All right, sixty four bit processor, Windows seven, Intel i five, eight gig, Nvidia GT ten thirty. DirectX 11, uh, broadband internet, and 25 gig of storage, all right? Uh, recommended, you want 64-bit, uh, Windows 10 64, uh, Intel Core i7, that's that's what I got. 16 gig of RAM, I have 32. Uh, I have a 1070 Ti, that's, I think, 6 gig, I think, or 8 gig. DirectX, I think, minus 12, I don't know. And 30 gig, I, I had like 64, so I should be good. All right, and then hopefully you are too. Reviews. Uh, let's see what the reviews are. When was this posted? Can I leave a review? All right, I just say this RTX on. Login fail. I uh, cannot log in to play. This game works well, but after I close the game and then I try to log in, it says login failed. Imagine not finding the download button. Uh, how to install the game. Press Windows R. Install, hit enter. 
go here, go here. Okay, there's, there's, I'm like, I, I, I would not try that. That feels really roundabout. But you know, if it works, it works, right? It has 36 people found this helpful. The fact that you can customize the main character to look like Genshin characters is, yeah. Uh, Paimon. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mia. Uh, long time player and still be playing. However, the reason for not recommending is due to the BSD. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A game that has no right having such combat is being a game I've invested over 250 hours since launch and for about three weeks had top status on my server for bygone. Now you're probably wondering why did it do it? Uh huh. Tower of Fantasy is a wow, this guy. Um. Yeah, so if you pause the screen and read, then yes, beautiful. All right, I'm guessing it's the, the hacker issue. So yeah, basically just make sure that you're not using the custom login by Hota or Infinite Games. Uh, Buying your account to Gmail or Apple and yeah, then you should be fine. All right, so let's going back to downloads. All right, so we're now at the verifying stage. That's good. That's very good. So we've already... Uh, downloaded to 24.6 gigs. I'm pretty sure that once we log into the game, there's going to be some more verifying that needs to be done. Um, so I guess that's going to be fun. Look at this upward trend. Look at that. It's all green. All green. Going up. Going up from here. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So we have like 39 seconds remaining network disk so yeah there's other stuff here okay i don't need to know that uh yeah so that uh, so that's basically how you download tower of fantasy on steam all right so reasons why you'd want to download tower of fantasy on steam is because you are now connected to the steam ecosystem community honestly I, I i wouldn't know maybe because you can track your time now like see like how many hours you've played on the game <laughs> probably all right so if we click here we can see play now right if we go to library and we go to best games ever all right so here power of fantasy starred by the way all right we can hit play and then now it's gonna say this do you want to uh, if you can't see it because of the how it records, there's a... Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? A Steam client service. Yes, just hit yes. Now, it's performing first-time setup because it's the first time that Tower Fantasy is being played on your game P computer after you uninstalled it for you existing players. Wanderers. But I, 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 meant, I meant Wanderers. Sorry. So... Now it's installing Microsoft VC redistribution step one of two. Step two of two. All right. I don't know what that does. Don't ask me. Now it's telling me, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Toughlauncher.exe. Yes. So it's the tough. We have the launcher now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, the <laughs> launcher. Yeah. Beautiful. Now just just log in, all right? Don't you don't use this, all right? Just just use uh, oh Apple, you can log in via Apple now. You couldn't you couldn't have not done that before. So yeah, we can do Apple now. But I'm gonna do Gmail because that's what I got, all right? So I get a notification on my Gmail and then boom shakalaka just like that, we are now logged in. Beautiful. So yeah, we are now back where we started when we started. <laughs> But yeah, there it's what's different. Um, system here is yeah, so you don't get that because it's yeah connected to Steam. Uh, account center is the same. So yeah, this is where you bind accounts. So see, I don't have custom account. Don't I can bind it to Apple though. That's very cool. Um, and launch yeah, and that's it. There, that's how you. That's how you play. I mean, download Tower of Fantasy on Steam. It was not that hard at all. And then the game launches and everyone's ha ha happy. Uh, and yeah. Uh, access Steam community while playing. Yo, that is a nice. 
loading screen. Not gonna lie. Uh, that, that looks really cool. All right, and we're back. We are, we are back. Cool. So yeah. Um, and then yeah, just choose your server. Make sure your settings are right. And then enjoy Tower of Fantasy. Beautiful. All right. So I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I can now. Yeah, cause we're on. Um. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, this is all messed up. I need to fix this. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. It's a small. Uh, it's a small. Okay, so yeah, here we go. So yeah, uh, just to recap, right? So say you exit the game, right? You exit the game, and then that closes, right? So then, and then it's played, right? So it says play, but then you close Steam, right? There is an icon here, right? No. All right. Uh, okay, all right. There's an icon here, right? Um, then my my Steam, right? I I'm gonna close Steam. All right, I've exited Steam. All right, if I press this, all right, it should, it should, see see connecting Steam account. All right, so it connects first to your Steam account, then you get the notification, and then you're supposed to log in. So, all right, it's not. It's it's an extra step compared to just pressing this, opening launcher, and then logging in, right? But it will open your Steam uh, account. So Tower of Fantasy, preparing to launch. To, so you, that you, that's also another way to do that, and it should still open the launcher. Uh, but if you open Steam, it should stay. It should say that you are running. All right, it is running in the playtime. So I think even if you stay on the launcher, it will count as playtime. But there, you can you can track your playtime. Now, what happens to screenshots um, is it should it should be the same thing. So if we if we right click this, go to properties. Ha ha! Oh, where do the screenshots go? Let us find where the screenshots go. So remember where you downloaded the game, right? It was in C. So we're gonna go look in C. 86 uh steam so you go to steam all right so we're in steam and then <laughs> where is it it's yeah it's steam right yeah steam uh, and then uh wait for it wait for it let me just go tower towers search tower all right just yeah, there's there's two of them all right, open, open, ah, uh, folder location. All right, Steam apps. Why, why would you do that? Launcher? Okay, where do the screenshots go? Uh, workshop, Steam. Steam apps. Really now? Steam apps, Tower of Fantasy. All right, I know there's a better way to search for this. All right, it's in common, common, common. Common Steam apps, common Tower of Fantasy. All right, so that's where that lives. So okay, all right. Let's let's open the game. All right, yes. So see that? See how fast that was? We're gonna log in. Okay. All right, we're gonna actually have to play the game because we need to take a screenshot so that it automatically generates a screenshot folder. So we're gonna hit launch. All right. So we're launching it. So I made it window mode so that you can. It's, it's great! It, it did that. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Now it did borderless, and then now it. Yeah, I have a I have a thing called borderless gaming. It's a third party app that makes it borderless. Uh, so you don't see see, and it does that, and then it does that. It, it's weird sometimes. Um, but if I change the display to nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Uh, it should work. Oh, my settings reset. I have to do my settings again. Ah, so, so yeah, make sure that you you remember the settings you used. Um, so that way they work. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna have to do this really quick. I need to move this a little bit to the. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, this is my borderless gaming app. Anyway, so let's log in. Go to the server. So Sakura. That's where I live. Uh, open that. And 
and all right yeah there's nothing that you need to download it just works so yeah once you're on steam it, it works all right so we need to take a quick screen screen screenshot we need to take a quick screenshot all right so this is where you are um please don't upgrade items in training center for now there might be a bug causing materials used loss all right i'm not gonna upgrade anything for now all right i have been warned but what i want to do is take a screenshot all right for, all right say something is this new this looks new hmm. all right i like the monster if ever there's a monster get rid of the weapon uh do, 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 watermark see some cameras it's depth of field yes please uh clock i know we're in a rush here but uh let's see no this one there we go all right so we got this shot right we got this shot oh nice fancy so this is where it goes save path see program files steam steam apps common tower fantasy so it created a folder all right it created a folder so it is now confirmed that the folder has been created okay so we go to c um program files 86 <laughs> uh we go to steam then we go to steam apps and then we go to common and then we go to tower of fantasy and then we go to tower of fantasy and then you go to screenshots yeah that that's where that's where it lives there we go zero beautiful all right no watermark wow that's that's how that that's I, I i can't believe i didn't know that that was a thing until now all right so what i can do then now is um let's see we can all right let's see if this works go to special orders this do a 10 pull all right and then uh you know that you know me cool if this was actually a uh, ssr and it was marrow oh yo yo that would be yo no no okay it's not all right it's not all right but what i wanted to do here is uh, take a screenshot of echo go oh, shoot me now did not mean to do that i meant to take a screen i meant to save it i'm sorry i did not mean to do another 10 pull and and get nothing all right the last one was a better screenshot but okay all right skip Sk skip and then share okay and then save Okay, so that still does that thing. And then we go here and yeah, it says one. So, okay, cool. That's 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 cool. So that works. It works now. So this is where your screenshots will go. The best thing you can do is um send to desktop. Everything just send just send everything to desktop, all right? Send everything to desktop and you will be fine. So now here on the desktop, we have a copy of the new. So, so we have two screenshot folders. Now we got the we got the, the old one and the new one. So you get this, you press control X or cut, all right? Cut, cut, go here and then just paste it, all right? Just paste it. So that way they're all in one folder, it's quiet all right? Here. And then you can group by type. That way it's in a different type. And then you can just call this um, pre... 2.0 there if you want so that way you know these are all screenshots before 2.0 all right and then now moving forward these are all the screenshots in 2.0 all right so now that we figure that out now that we've accomplished everything that we wanted to accomplish this video is now done you now know how to uninstall tower fantasy to install it again on steam to make sure that you backed up your screenshots before you uninstall tower of fantasy to actually then re-backing it up to the new <laughs> to, to, to the new screenshot folder that you generated by taking that first screenshot in tower of fantasy while using steam so that way your screenshots are now all i'm like if you if I, i'm like screenshots is just a thing that you know we have that, that i'm not sure i'm again majority of people not might be using that might they don't take pictures all right not everyone takes pictures i do so that's why this is important to me that 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 you actually save your your screenshot your camera roll all right so yeah we're done here thank you for watching